Okay, this video is on uh, arrays, and arrays are groups of objects that make a rectangle. Okay, there are equal number of objects in each row of the rectangle. All right, so it helps with multiplication and also uh, will be helpful with division when we get to it. So I'm showing you right now uh, some examples. So these are all examples of the same multiplication, two times three, or we can say two rows of three. So this is a row, a row here and a row here. So it's like in, in class when I've done rows uh, with seating of the desks. Um, so here's two rows and there's three in each row. So arrays can be helpful in uh, counting up an amount, okay? So when you don't have the multiplication fact uh, memorized, and you need to do, and this is really beneficial for bigger numbers too, especially when you get in the older grades, they, they use arrays for doing larger numbers. Um, so you just gotta understand what they're supposed to look like and how to use them. So um, this is how you do it. This says two rows of three, so I've made two rows, three in each row, okay? And now it should form a rectangle. Now, that doesn't mean you always have to draw rectangles, as long as it has a rectangle shape. So I can draw a rectangle around it. That means it's it's an array and there's an equal amount in each in each row. So here's an example of not an array because if I draw around each shape, it looks like that and that is not a rectangle, okay? Rectangle has four sides, this has more than four sides. So that's not an array, all right? Now, um, here's an example of how it could be helpful too. If you had to count up an amount, right? If you put things in the shape of an array, it'd be a lot easier to count up than something like this over here. So there's the same amount of C's on both sides of this line here. Now, this one would be a lot easier to count up. This one, you'd basically have to count by one just to make sure that you got each one of them, right? Here, we have some options, right? So it's an array. It's in an array. Um, I see that's in four rows of five, so I can count by fives or I know that four times five is 20. So see how quickly I was able to, to do that rather than having something one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So it's just a, an easier way to do some multiplication. And like I said, it will be helpful with um, division as well. Now, I just wanna make sure that we, um, when we go to draw these or or write the multiplication that we do them correctly. So we do it by rows, so, cause there's, it can look two different ways. So say I had the example of this, five rows of one. This is what it'll look like. I have five rows, okay, and there's one in each row. So that's what that would look like. Now, same numbers, but it says one row of five. So it's going to look different. Here's what one row of five looks like, okay? So they do look very different. This is one row, this is five rows. Okay, so just be aware of that when you're doing the questions and that you try to think of it as rows, five rows of one, one row of five. Okay, 